Welcome to the second video of the Formula Fangirl YouTube page. I am very excited to bring you this next video and as you can see I am using a different camera. Um, I do apologise for the kind of like beginner's video on my phone last week but we all have to start somewhere. So I've gone home, found my old camera and I'm going to be using this for uh, time to come. I do realise in some of the videos when I use this camera it tries to focus a lot so you might see a little bit of a trying to focus in and out but um, it's definitely better than me trying to use my iPhone. So uh, come along on the journey and we'll see what we're going to be talking about today. Hello everyone and welcome to the second video in Formula Fangirl. That's me. So today we're going to be talking about my predictions for the 2019 season. So I thought you and I could play a little game. So I've got my very trusty Max Verstappen Red Bull Racing hat with me and inside I've got some pieces of paper that I've written some predictions on, well questions, and I'm going to see what they say and I will give you my reaction. So the first one is the best race of 2019. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to say China. Now, the reason I say China is because when we get to China, it will be the 1,000th race of Formula One. So I'm pretty sure the celebrations at this race are going to be huge. So in that respect, I'm going to say China. For more racing on the track, seeing overtakes and things like that, I'm going to say... Germany. Just a name I've pulled out of a hat. I think that's the name of the game and we'll see if I'm right. Moving on to our next pick. Ooh, what are we going to get? Who will win the championship? So, who do I want to win the championship? Max Verstappen. Um, I really want to see Max clinch a world title. I think he would really deserve it. I know that a lot of people say that he has growing up to do and all this, but I think going away from the 2018 season, he'll come into 2019 and he will be phenomenal. So I really, 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 really want Max to do it. Who do I think is going to do it? I'm going to go with Sebastian Vettel, purely because he was devastated this year. No matter how many times he congratulated Lewis and showed his sportsmanship, I know that inside he was dying at the fact that after the German Grand Prix, things just started going downhill. So who do I want? Max. Who do I think might do it? Seb in the Ferrari. Let's see what's next. Oh. Who will have the worst season? Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna say McLaren. I think that even though we are hoping that the new drivers, Carlos and Lando, are going to be able to bring some life to the McLaren cars this year. I don't think it's going to happen. So my guess for the worst season is going to be McLaren. Moving on. Ooh, in Ferrari, who's going to have a better season? Charles or Sebastian? Now, I know a lot of people absolutely love Charles, and don't get me wrong, I think his time at Sauber was amazing. As a rookie, he was fantastic, and I really think that now that we see him in a Ferrari, he's going to do fantastic things. Do I honestly think that he's going to pip Seb? No, I don't think so. I think that now that we've got some young face in Ferrari, Seb's going to be like, right, I know exactly what I have to do. So I'm going to say Sebastian out of the two of them. But I do wish Charles all the best of luck. Next time. First penalty of the year goes to Roman Grosjean. I'm going to have to go with Roman purely because of the season that he had this year. 
I'm gonna put him forward again and say that we're gonna see uh, a bit of a naughty Roman. So yeah, I think Roman Grosjean's going to have the first penalty of the year. Next, we have ooh, the most DNFs, which again, I said in my last video, means does not finish. Um, and I'm going to say Antonio Giovinazzi. Um, I really hope that nobody has a season like Daniel Ricciardo had this year. I don't want to keep bringing up his non-finishes because it just is too heartbreaking to mention. But um, by pulling a name out the hat, I've said Antonio Giovinazzi. So sorry, Antonio. I just had to pick someone and it happened to be you. Let's see what we have next. Which F2 rookie will come on top? So we have Alexander Alban going to Toro Rosso, Lando Norris going to McLaren and George Russell going to Williams. And purely based on the fact that George won the GP3, then the F2, I'm going to say George Russell is going to come on top uh, with the rookies that are joining F1 this year. So good luck to George and I really hope that prediction comes true. Ooh, what do we have next? Ferrari or Mercedes? Now, Mercedes had a blinding year this year, you can't deny it. Lewis's drives were fantastic and they pulled some phenomenal moves, overtakes, things like that on track and everything just seemed to go their way. Hence why they clinched the world title for Lewis and the Constructors' Championship for Mercedes as a team. But I think Ferrari are going to have some tricks up their sleeve for 2019. They do not want to see Lewis crowned again. I know that for a fact. So I'm going to say Ferrari for 2019. Not saying that they'll win the championship. All I'm saying is that Ferrari is going to come on top of Mercedes. <laughs> right. An unexpected top six washout. So for those of you that don't know, the top six are classed as the two drivers from Mercedes, Ferrari and Red Bull. So obviously for Ferrari, we've got Sebastian Vettel and Charles Leclerc. For um, uh, Mercedes, we have Lewis Hamilton and Valtteri Bottas. And then for Red Bull, we have Max Verstappen and Pierre Gasly. So an unexpected top six washout. Um, again, I'm going to go with Valtteri Bottas. Unfortunately, Valtteri's season this year was a washout. He started off high, ending very low. And I know that a lot of people argue that Esteban should have been the one to take his seat. So are we going to see Valtteri sink even lower to make those affirmations come true? So Valtteri Bottas, I think, will be our 2019 washout from the top six. Ooh, coming on next, we have... Last in the championship. Uh, so I think last in the championship is going to be team wise, I will say Racing Point. Um, I know that they've got two good drivers in Stroll and Perez, but I just have a feeling that things might not go their way next year. So for that, I'm going to say Racing Point. But in terms of drivers, in the championships, I'm gonna go with Robert Kubisa because even though we're so glad to see Robert back on track, I just don't feel that the drivers that we already have in the season are going to let him do anything good. So I'm going to say Robert last in the championship. What else do we have here? How many races will there be rain? So rain can create quite a stir in the world of Formula One, especially if it's an unexpected thing. So obviously we have a lot of different tyres and don't worry, we're going to have another video later on explaining all the things in terms of the car. But we have our normal tyres and then we have our wet. So we can have intermediates, which is for a short amount of rain, but then we can have our full wets when there's a real downpour and risk of sliding on the track. Uh, so I think races that will rain, I'm going to say six. There we have it. Six races are going to rain in 2019. Okay, moving on. 
how many races for Charles on a podium? So obviously Charles Leclerc has not had a podium yet, seeing as he was at Sauber. And even though the season was very good, unfortunately they could get nowhere near the top three teams. Um, but now that Charles is going to be racing for Ferrari, we really hope that Charles is going to have a good run. So in his first podium, I think we'll see him in Azerbaijan giving him a few sort of races to get through, get in. But I think how many races for Charles on a podium? And I am going to say five. So let's see if Charles can get those five podiums. Will he uh, prove me wrong? We shall have to see. Coming next, we have Red Bull better or worse with Honda. So, Red Bull and Renault had a bit of a breakup. So, that's it. Renault engines are no longer going to be seen in the Red Bull cars. And starting next year, they're going to be moving to Honda. Now, we've seen the Toro Rosso run in Hondas. And on those uh, sort of debut races, things looked well in practices and qualifying. But the races didn't always turn out that way. But it could be arguably to do with different things. But I'm going to be optimistic and I think that Red Bull are going to have a better season with Honda. I really do think that this is going to be a turning point to see Max and Pierre get full advantage of the cars that they have got. So yes, I think Red Bull are going to be better. Oh, we're dwindling now. Coming next, the first podium for Gasly. So much like Charles, Gasly has gone from another team, Toro Rosso, and now moved to Red Bull. And I think his first podium is going to be in France, purely because Pierre Gasly is French. And I really think that home means a lot to him. So he's going to try his absolute hardest to get a podium in that race. Not saying that he'll be first, but I know that he's at least going to be fighting to show that he can be up there. Uh, Gasly came fourth in Bahrain last year, and it was such an amazing thing to see a, a team that normally starts from near the back of the grid to finish that phenomenal race in fourth. And he was he could have got a podium, but you could argue that the top runners were just a little bit out of his league. But I really think that France is going to be the one for Pierre, and we will see him on the podium seven times. I'm going to say seven, lucky number seven for Pierre, because he's another one of my favourites too. So good luck, Pierre, and let's see if you can prove me right with that. Not many left to go now. So our next question is, will Valtteri Bottas win a race in 2019? Now, I'm not going to be all doom and gloom for Valtteri, and I'm going to say yes. I think that much like Sebastian really wants to get back in and show that he can be championship worthy, I think that Valtteri is going to show that he can be podium worthy. And I would love to see Valtteri on a podium because he tries so hard. So will Valtteri win a race? I'm going to say yes. What race will he win? I really don't know. Let's pull a name out of the hat and say Hungary. There we go. I wish you all the best, Valtteri, and let's see if you can get that win. Three to go. So our final ones are the most over-the-top race. So I've already touched on China because China is going to be, as I said, the thousandth race. I'm sure there's going to be tons of celebration. But uh, you always get a lot of uh, places sort of trying to outdo the other. So um, not counting Abu Dhabi, because of course Abu Dhabi is the last race in the season where we have all the fireworks, all the parties going on. So that is undoubtedly going to be one of the most over the top races of the season. But I'm going to go somewhere like Mexico. Mexico always put on a good show, so I'm going to say Mexico being very over the top in 2019. Our penultimate question is an unexpected podium finisher, much like Sergio Perez last year. Ooh, let's go with Nico Hulkenberg. I really hope we can finally see Nico Hulkenberg 
get a podium he has been in so many races and tried absolutely sort of so hard to try and get there and it has just not gone that way so seeing the run of bad luck that nico has had i would love to see him on a podium so for that i'm going to say nico holkenberg and our final question of our my predictions is <laughs> Will Max Verstappen learn from his ways in 2018? Um, I hope so. I mean, what can I say? Max is a hot-headed guy. Uh, one of his uh, taglines on Instagram that he goes by is Unleash the Lion, um, which I think is a fantastic phrase because it kind of means unleash that power in you and max is definitely a lion and he always tries to unleash the power that he has every single time um do you i think that we're going to see him um be the same um yes in the sense of on track i do think that we are going to see fighting max but i do think he is also going to do some growing up over the winter break because i know that he now wants a fresh start just like everyone else to see if he can get those questions of can max win a championship under his belt so do i think max is going to learn yes i really do i really really do so that is my 2019 predictions for next year um, do you have any predictions? Let me know in the comments below and I'm sure that we can talk them out throughout the season. I just want to thank you again for coming to my channel. It's a real pleasure to bring you these videos. I'm really enjoying doing them and um, I've got an idea of what we're going to be talking about next week. So come and join me where I get to discuss all about what happened when me and my mother took a trip up to London to see what was going on at the Autosport Awards of 2018. We had a very unexpected fun night, so look out for that video next week. I'm Georgina, your Formula Fangirl, and I really hope you get to join me on my journey. Thank you very much, everyone. Bye!